Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesign and techtips.com. In our last video we added a bit of scroll spy to enable our little menu decoration underline there to move when we move from section to section. What we want to do now is add some smooth scroll so when we go to our next section it doesn't just jump like that it'll actually scroll smoothly so let's do that and to do that we need to go to a site called github I'll put this link down below and get our smooth scroll code so let's we'll just scroll down a little bit hit the clone or download button right here once you do you can download the zip file Okay, save that to somewhere that you know where it is. Once you have it, let's go and unzip it. Put mine in a folder already and unzipped it. And this is what we have. This is what we get when we unzip it. Now if we open this folder here. If you want to read the license, you can open this with brackets just to read the license. It's always a good, good idea to read the license and brackets is the text editor we've been using it's free to download you can download it from a link below and the two files that we'll be working on for the moment are the custom css and index html file we're also going to create another folder and start using a bit of javascript so once you've read the license let's go back for our demonstration purposes here we're going to go into the dist folder and we're just going to copy this whole file, this JavaScript file, because inside there we've got our smooth scroll, JavaScript, minified versions, and our polyfills. And we probably don't need those three, but let's just go ahead and copy this whole file over. Control C to copy. Then once you've copied it, you want to go to your folder that has your bootstrap site in it that we've been building here and just paste it in there so we'll have three files then css images and javascript so there it is now what do we do with it good question read the site now there's quite a lot to it actually but what i'll i'll, I'll do is i'll take you through the steps it's pretty easy um and the results results are great so let's go ahead and open our index.html file because that's where we'll have to call in our JavaScript file from. So we're going to open that with brackets. Okay, and to call in our script that we want, I want to go down to the bottom to our scripts. And the last one we put in our scroll spy. Um, let's just copy this title. This makes it easier. If anybody else needs to edit this, they can see what's what at a glance here. And smooth scroll. Okay, let's open some script tags, or in fact we can probably just copy it from their site and just change changed where we need to go. If we look at that site we were looking at just now, here we are, include smooth scroll on your site. We copied over the JavaScript files, so we, let's just copy this, and we'll have to change the destination because we've got ours in a slightly different place. Back to our brackets, paste that in there. Okay, and I think ours is just in JavaScript, so I can probably do this, but let's just do it from scratch, just to make sure. So if we look at our site it's in our root folder and it's in the JS folder and it's smooth scroll right there so all we need to do is write JS it'll probably prompt us there's JS and there's smooth scroll okay so that that bit done that was easy enough let's go back what do we need to do next we need to add another piece of script to make the actual navbar 
jump to the ID tags. And this only works with ID links or anchor links. So like I say, read through it if you need to understand it a bit more. There's some great in-depth detail here. But for our purposes, this is pretty much all we're going to need to do. So let's grab that and paste it just below that script tag we put in there. Okay, so that looks good. That's fine. It's grabbing from the right file there. And let's just tidy that up a little bit. And it's telling it to grab our anchor tags. That's fine. Okay, well, we've got our tags in place from our last video. Uh, we've got our home one in place there and we've got our, our about tag there so it saved us control s and see if this is actually working yet here's our site let's refresh let's see if we can smooth scroll to our about section there we go back to our home section did it but again like with our scroll spy it's going too far now how can we fix that well, you can read through pages and pages of questions and <laughs> answers about this, but, but I found a pretty easy way of doing it. It's only because I've done it loads of times. What we need to do is go to our JavaScript, JavaScript file in our brackets. Let's have a look here. It's going about 100 pixels too far, pretty much the same as our scroll spy was. So let's go to our javascript file well, we'll need to open it in our brackets so here's our bootstrap 4 website there's our javascript folder there's our smooth scroll so we want to right click on that and open in brackets and doesn't that look scary it's not really it's 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 pretty easy and you can spend hours looking through this and try and find where you put it in really easy it's on line 44 unless you've modified this which i wouldn't recommend unless you know what you're doing on line 44 it says offset so let's give it an offset let's try 100 and again it's pixels you don't have to put in pixels because it already knows and let's just save that Control s to save back to our site quick refresh go back up to the top and let's see where it goes this time when we hit the about oh it's pretty much bang on there let's have a look maybe a little short let's have a look yeah it's going up it's really only well, let's try let's try putting 115 I mean that's good enough but Again, like we did in the last one, I'm I'm getting a little anal with it. I want it to be bang on. So let's try. Let's try 105. Back to the site. Refresh. Back to the home page. Oof! I think that's about there. Ooh, all right, let's try 107. You get the idea. I could I could sit here for hours doing this till it's absolutely pixel perfect, but there's no point if it's good enough, but let's have a look. Refresh. Back home. Bang, I'm pretty sure that's there, isn't it? Yep, look at that. Bang on there you go so that is how to add smooth scroll to your site actually let's go one step further um yep working like it very good what if we think it's going too fast what if we want to slow it down again that's really easy let's go back to our javascript file and online i think it's the one before we just had a look at 43 i think comes to mind yep speed there we go that's in milliseconds if we change it let's just put a 
one in front of it, so it's 1500 milliseconds or 1 1.5 seconds. Save that, go back. Now it should take a second and a half to do that actual scroll. So let's try it, refresh. There we go, that's now taking about a second and a half. And you can you can make it silly, you know, you can make it 25. Um, I'm old, I like things to work a little slower nowadays. Uh, but this may be overdoing it, so let's try that. Now it's going to take 2.5 seconds to get there. 2.5 seconds to get back up to the top again. So let's put it back to a normal rate. 1500 I think works where well, it works for me. Whatever works for you works for you. It's your site. We don't want it to 145 seconds uh, or 14.5 seconds. Let's do that correctly. Back to the site. Refresh. Jing. Yeah, that works for me. There's all kind of other things you can edit on there. cubic base years, the easing and easing out, the way it actually does it. Read through all their documentation if you're interested in this and changing it, but for me these default values usually work absolutely fine. So there we go, that is how to add smooth scroll to your Bootstrap 4 website. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, please take one of our courses below. We have some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And there's also some fantastic free courses down there. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.